Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a really, really big review of Simple Colors today, and so we just kind of got to get right into it because we're going to be talking about the Simple Colors collaboration with Kylie Jenner. It's called the King Kylie Collection, and it's actually with their um, gel tech line that's called Simple Shine that's meant to be a two step process. So it, there's Simple Colors and then there's Simple Shine. Well, this collaboration is in the Simple Shine portion of the brand, and there are 20 new colors out to go along with this Kylie collaboration. So um, we have a lot to cover. I am actually going to be giving you like small dupe alerts um, throughout the video for each one because um, there were actually only a few in here that I thought were really kind of something new. That's why um, we're gonna look at a few dupes, um, but we're gonna do live application of every single polish in the whole range. I did find this collection or this display at Walmart. Yeah, not Walgreens, Walmart. There's like a big um, display out in front of the cosmetics selection. We're gonna go straight through. I'm actually gonna follow the order of the polishes. If you wanna follow along that the press release shows online, it shows all the colors. We're gonna go from left to right like that across the display so you can follow with me and I wanna make sure because some of them are actually kind of similar. So I wanted to go ahead and follow that um, so I could make sure and get all of them and um, so that you will know which one I'm talking about because like there's two whites that are very, very similar with a, just a very small difference. There's two nudes that are very similar. There's some grays that are very similar. So long and short of it is, I do think that this um, new collaboration is nice. I didn't have an issue with any of these polishes, but there's not really a lot here that is like really, really brand new that you won't ever have seen before. That being said, there are definitely some in here that I thought were really great and that I'm glad that I picked up and there are a few that actually are pretty um, unique in my collection. One more thing to mention before we start the live application, these are retailing for just under $3 at Walmart and um, all of the swatch photos will be pictured with their step two top coat um, that comes in kind of this black bottle here. While this is nice, I still don't think it beats my one of my favorites, probably my favorite, my go-to top coat right now, which is the Super Chick Lacquer um, Liquid Macro Quick Dry Ultra Gloss. This puppy just makes every polish look amazing. But I wanted to mention that I did go ahead and use their step two for every swatch photo that you're going to see today. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, the first polish in the collection is called Danu Black and they all say King Kylie on the bottom right underneath the name and this is basically a very dark gray. I don't actually think of this as a black and maybe it's because it has so much gray shimmer going throughout it or silver excuse me. Um, it doesn't really look like a black to me but um, I did think this is nice. It's great coverage at two coats. Some things that I thought were very similar to it just in case you're wondering so you don't have to go pick this one up. Um, OPI Center of the Universe is very similar to this, Color Club Showtime, and Pretty Serious The Night Before dot 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 from their most recent Christmas collection is very similar to this. And then kind of close is Zoya Lordana if you put a top coat on it. So those are some that you may already have in your collection that are actually pretty similar to this, but let's go ahead and see how this swatches in two coats. Okay, next up is actually one of the most unique colors in this collection and it's called Slay Gray. And not slay like a holiday slay, like you're gonna slay something. Um, this is just a nice medium toned gray with some beautiful gold and um, kind of like a greeny gold shimmer in it. It's a high, high shimmer. This is one of the polishes in this 20 piece collection that I actually needed three coats on. There are a few that I needed three coats on which is a little bit unfortunate, but I think on something like this, it's nice because it layers up all that shimmer, which just gives it more dimension. Um, something that this is actually pretty similar to is Simple Colors' own Prosecco, which is kind of a cult classic by now because it is really interesting with that neutral color with some high goldy green shimmer. 
Um, this one's a little bit more dark. It's a little bit more gray, but it's in that same exact vein. If you already know and love Prosecco, this is very similar to it. So let's take a look. Next up, we're going to talk about Night Out, and it's like um, the night with shining armor, that kind of night. And this one is just kind of a darker silver metallic. This is definitely one that I think that you could pass on because and unless you're just barely brand new starting collecting polish, I'm pretty sure you'll have something very, very similar to this in your collection. Um, just to name a few, Sinful Color Zone Sinful, or Silver Scream. Zoya Triss and Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure and Shoot the Moon are all very similar to this and that's just me picking three quickly out of my stash that look like this. So definitely not a must have, nothing super unique here, but let's go ahead and see how it swatches. Okay, next up, this is one of my favorites out of the whole collection. This is called On Fire, and fire is spelled F-Y-R-E. And this is a very, um, it's already like an, like an emblazoned scarlet red, ruby red, but then it's just absolutely packed with gold to bronze um, shimmer, tiny, tiny glitter pieces. Not really, it doesn't really stand out like glitter because they're very, very small, so it's just kind of like, um, all this beautiful gold um, kind of rolling through this polish. This is gorgeous. It's a great at two coats. Um, some things that are actually kind of similar to it are Ciate Espadrille. Um, OPI Red Fingers and Mistletoes is close, but it's not quite as vibrant in the gold as this polish. And then Spa Ritual Flamenco is also very similar, but that's a textured polish. So definitely one of my favorites. If you love red polish, I think you're really going to want this. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, next up there is one gold polish in the collection and it is called the Royal Me. And here it is here and as far as golds go, this one is actually kind of antique and like green leaning compared to other golds. Like it's not super duper yellow, but it's not, it's also not super silvered out. It has an antique feel to it. So this is, um, can, compared to like this metallic silver, this one, this yellow here is more of a liquid uh, metallic kind of look on the nail. So when you think about your metallics, um, this one kind of goes on looking more like wet metal. That's how I think of it. So anyway, some things that are kind of similar to this. Finger paints key to my art. Um, Julep Kathleen, Civil Colors Gold Metal, and Civil Colors Cinnamon. So, as you just heard me say, there actually are some things already in Civil Colors line that is very similar to this, so I don't think that this is a must-have. But let's go ahead and see how it swatches. Okay, there are two white polishes in this collection and at first I thought to myself why did she include two white polishes I can understand why there are so many nudes because a lot of people like variations on nude but as I looked across the collection it's pretty 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 obvious what her favorite colors are and I think one of her favorite colors to wear is white and I don't have a problem with that so once I was really putting wrapping my head around that, it made sense to me why there are two colors that are so, so similar in here. We're going to talk about the second white in just a minute because I am following along on that, um, on that PR picture that's online for these. But um, this first one is called Covet, spelled with a K. 
And the only way that this differentiates from the other white is that the very um, subtle shimmer in this one is blue-green, whereas the one in the other one is gonna be a nice, powerful gold. So that, this is actually super duper subtle. It just mostly looks just like a white cream polish. Just has a little bit of um, that, like I said, that blue-green. So I'm gonna cover dupes um, for something similar to this when we get to that second one. So let's go ahead and see how this swatches. If you're not absolutely crazy for white polish and you don't think you need both, I actually would recommend the second one. So we'll be coming up to that in just a minute. All right, the next one we're gonna talk about is called Carnival, also spelled with a K. And this is a nice, deep, just really, really yummy, sexy plum. Um, this is a luster finish. It's not a straight cream polish. This is beautiful at two coats. I think this was one of my favorites in the collection, but I do really like purple polish anyway. So I think that's what made me like it so much because it's not particularly a unique color or formula or anything. It's not, not super unique, but it did look really pretty on the nail. Um, some things that I thought it looked like are China Glaze Let's Groove, Finger Paints Dance Till Dawn, Maybelline Plum Paradise, and Sally Hansen Pronto Purple. So just in looking real quick through my stash um, and through my swatch photos that I keep on my computer, this already had quite a few dupes. Nothing that I was like, oh, that's exactly, that's exactly like it. But similar enough that if you didn't want to run out and snatch this, well, you probably already have something kind of similar. So let's take a look. Next up, there are two blues in the collection and we're gonna look at them right next to each other. Look how gorgeous and bright and vivid this blue is. It's really pretty, it's called True Color. Color also spelled with a K. Now the only thing about this is it is in a crelly formula and that means that it's not a cream. It goes on to where it looks a little bit watery on the nail. It's a little bit more sheer, you can see through it. I did need three coats for this and in the swatch photo you're gonna be looking at three um, like you were looking at on the Slay Gray. Um, I actually don't think I liked this very much. I think that I, I don't tend to love blues in a Corelli or Jelly formula because unlike a red, it just, I don't think it lends itself very well to the color. I think it looks much more striking when it's a cream polish and you can't see any, um, visible nail line. And with this, even at three coats, I could still see a little bit of the visible nail line and it was just getting too thick at that point. So. Even though this is a gorgeous royal blue, if you have anything in your collection that's already kind of similar to this, I don't think that you're going to, well you may because of course all of our preferences aren't the same, but I don't think that you're going to just absolutely die over this one. As you'll see in the live application, I don't know. In my opinion, I just don't think, I think that there are better like royal royal blues out there. And some that I thought were actually pretty similar to this, if you are looking for something, I'm not gonna tell you all the cream dupes that there are for this color, because there's a million, but some Crelly dupes um, that are pretty similar are Nina Ultra Pro Cobalt and Revlon Royal. So let's go ahead and see how it swatches. Okay, the second blue in the collection I actually preferred way more to the last one and it looks like this here and it is called Calypso also spelled with a K. So this is actually on the opposite end of the spectrum. This gets nice and opaque in two coats. It has a little bit of green in it whereas the royal blue you know it's just like a straight up royal blue. This is also a luster finish. Really really gorgeous. I loved this one and I do have to give props to this collection in that neither of those two very pigmented blues, this one and the one I just showed you, I didn't have staining with either of them. So I was very happy about that. Um, some things that I thought were pretty similar to this 
our finger paint surfs up OPI swimsuit and OPI swimsuit nailed it but that one is like super super power powerhouse blue if you know that polish this is a little bit less um, in your face but they are kind of a similar idea so let's see how it swatches Okay, next up is probably one of my other favorites out of the collection. I think I had three or four main favorites, and this is in those top picks. This one is called Miss Majesty, and of course it's purple, so I'm really going to like it, but what makes this polish special is that it has a very strong green-like shimmer just coming out through it. It's, like, it's almost like how a duochrome looks, but the purple in here isn't really a chromatic finish, so it's like that... Um, green is just coming out really really strong through the purple cream so this is really lovely it's kind of a mauvey lilac purple um, and then just that green is really really strong so when I was going through my um, swatches of my polish I didn't have anything that was exactly like this so if you're looking for something new to your collection chances are you might find it in this something that was the most similar for me was China Glaze Tantalize Me and so it's kind of in that same vein but this has the green is just way more popping on this so I'm actually going to show you did I do three coats of this one I think I did three coats of this but I didn't mind because it wasn't too thick and the second picture I'm going to show you was with flash so you can really see that green go to work so let's see how it swatches Alright, this next polish coming up is a very, very light pink. It's just like a pastel-y pink, kind of similar to the one I have on my pointer finger here. And then it's actually kind of similar to the mauve I have on my middle finger. It's kind of a good marriage of those two. This is a very, very dupable color. It's just a light pastel pink that's a little bit dusty, but it does have um, very light, light pinky rose shimmer going through it. It's so light, it almost looks like a silver. Um, that's really the only thing that makes this polish unique. There are so many dupes for a light pastel pink and the silver shimmer in it isn't super duper noticeable. So um, some things that looked very similar without the shimmer are China Glaze Spring in My Step and Color Club Blushing Rose. But if you just go crazy for light pinks, you'll probably like this one because it has a pretty decent formula. So let's take a look. Alright, there are two pinky reds in this collection. I actually really liked both of them. Um, the first one is called Real Regal, and so it's just like a nice deep hot pink with some strong fuchsia flash inside of it. This is great at two coats. Um, yeah, I think they did great with all of their red and pink polishes in this collection. Some things that I thought were similar are Color Club Wing Fling, LA Girl Juicy, OPI The One That Got Away, Simple Colors Glimmer, so within the Simple Colors line is actually very similar to this. And then Spoiled Club Rat, when I pulled this up next to it, it's a like dead on dupe for me, at least in my swatch photos. So if you already have that, you may not need this, but this is really pretty. Alright, the last pink in the collection, it's a very pinky red color and this was again one of my favorites in the entire collection and that's a surprise for me because I don't go crazy for pinks. But this color is very, very um, opaque in one coat, it's very flattering on the nail. I thought this was a great pink for them to include, I just love that there's one in here that's a one coat and done polish. 
This is called Queen, spelled with a K. Um, okay, some things that are actually very similar. Spoiled, again, Spoiled Pretty and Punk is like a basically exact dupe for this. So this isn't a super unique color, but I thought that they did a great job with this. But yeah, Spoiled Pretty and Punk, um, Simple Colors Ablaze is very close to this, and Sally Hansen's Speedy Sunburst. So again, if you have any of those, you may not need this one, but I did really like it out of the whole 20. Alright, so we finally reached around to the other white in the collection and it is called Cocoa Nuts and that's also spelled with a K and I think that's probably named for her sister um, Chloe because I think she calls her Coco anyway. I don't know too much about the family but that's what I was thinking. So this is the other, um, it's pretty opaque at two coats, white and it just is filled with gorgeous white, uh, excuse me, not white, it's filled with gorgeous gold shimmer. And out of the two whites, I prefer this one. I think that the gold just really stands out a lot more than the one in the blue. I think that if you just wanna pick up one, this is where it's at. Um, I told you I was gonna let you know some possible dupes. China Glaze Dandelion Around is kind of close to this. If you have that polish, you'll kind of know what this one's gonna be like. Essie Private Weekend is somewhat similar, um, but the thing that comes the closest to really um, giving you that shimmer that this one has is Zoya Aspen from their Winter Collection. If you remember the gorgeous shimmer that came out in that polish, it's very similar to this. So anyway, let's see how it swatches. Alright, so there are two nude creams in this collection that have shimmer in them, kind of similar to the two whites. Again, I thought to myself, why does she include two that are so similar? Well, she probably, again, really loves wearing nude nail polish, just like she probably really loves wearing white nail polish. So anyway, this first one has strong gold shimmer in it. It's darker. It's the darker of the two nudes. I like this one, I think, a little bit better than the lighter one, but the lighter one has pink shimmer in it, so they're not quite as similar as the two gold. So if you really love nude polish, you probably would want both of them because I don't have actually a lot of nudes in my collection that have a strong shimmer um, component to them. So I liked that. This one is called Caramel, also spelled with a K. Um, let's see, this one was most similar in my collection to Colt Nails Baker, which I know is a little bit harder to get your hands on because that's it. Um, brand is no longer producing polish right now, so maybe that one's not as helpful. But um, Pure Ice Good Glistener, which is in their new kind of gel-like line that's also carried at Walmart, is very similar to this. And I remember when I reviewed that collection, I said that's similar to Prosecco, but it was more like of a nudie shade, and so it's going to be in the same vein as this one. So I like this a lot. Let's take a look. Following along with the image that you can find online with all the little polishes going across, the next one in order is not that lighter nude, but we'll check out that in just a second. This is one of the two copper polishes in the collection. And again, it just must be a color that she really likes to wear because I don't really think that you need both of these. One of them is more um, kind of a, it's just basically one's a little bit softer than the other. See how they're so, so similar? I almost didn't pick up both. I almost passed over them um, because I thought they were the same in the display. So anyway, um, this first one is called Cafe Latte. And this is the softer of the two. It definitely looks very liquid metal-like on the nail. And Cafe, again, is spelled with a K. And some things that I found that were kind of similar to this are L'Oreal Freda's Nude and Ulta Brownette. Um, but in your collection, I'm sure you will find a lot of copper metallics, and this is just a soft one. So if you already have plenty of copper metallics, you probably don't need this one. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and take a look. Okay. 
Okay, so right next to it is the sister polish. This one is just a little bit deeper of a copper and it doesn't, it, it kind of almost has a little bit more foily appearance than the last one. The last one's a little bit smoother in appearance. Um, but, but this isn't chunky in any way, but that's the way that I differentiate them. This is a little bit darker and a little less smooth. This one is called Creme de la Creme, and both of the hard K sounding words are spelled with a K. Again, sensing a theme, right? So um, this is just a nice two coater. I thought this was great, but then again, it's really nothing too special. I have lots of polishes like this. Um, things that are similar are Trina Glaze Meet Me in the Mirage, Elf Copper, and OPI Worth a Pretty Penne. So um, yeah, let's see how it swatches. So we're back at the nudes. We're at the lighter of the two nudes, and this one is called Commando with a K, which is very fitting because it's like going commando if you're wearing something this nude. Going commando on your nails. So this one does have the light pinky silver shimmer going all the way throughout it. I really couldn't see the shimmer too extremely much, which was maybe the point. Um, but let's see, some things that I thought were kind of similar were Avon Sweet Pea Dream and China Glaze Don't Honk Your Thorn. Neither of those were exact dupes for this, but it's kind of the same thing. If you're looking for a reason not to pick this up and you absolutely love it, and you already own one of those two, it's pretty similar. So let's see how it swatches. We're gonna end up with a bang. We've got two beautiful greens here at the finish. This first one is this gorgeous, bright kind of um, like a rainforesty green here. And this one is called Kryptonite, spelled with a K. And this is kind of akin to the blue that's in the luster finish here. Um, this is really, really gorgeous at two coats. I liked it a lot. Um, however, there are some things that this is already pretty similar to. Um, the most similar in my collection is actually to Pretty Serious Kefri's Amulet, which is a very, very gorgeous polish from one of my favorite indie brands. And so if you weren't able to pick up that polish, you might want to try this one because it's actually really, really similar. Some other things, it's, it's also kind of similar to Cirque Urda, which is one of my favorite polishes. However, that one definitely has a richer formula. Um, something else it's like is Color Club Metamorphosis and Nicole by PI Candid Cameron. A little bit like that one. That one has a little bit more blue, but anyway, let's see how it swatches. And very last up, they gave us a mint in this collection, and this does have some very subtle silver shimmer in it, so it's not just your plain old plain Jane mint, it has some silver, but you know, I like plain Jane mints too. So anyway, this one last up is called Minty Fresh. So Minty Fresh is actually very similar to China Glaze Refreshment. Elf Mint Cream, however, both of those don't have shimmer. So I was looking for something with shimmer and Julep Chenet, if you happen to have that, that has some shimmer in it and it is this nice kind of dusty mint color. It's not a super bright mint, but um, really, really lovely. So let's see how it swatches. Okay guys, so I know that was a long one. I mean, what can you do when you have a collection that has 20 polishes in it? I did purchase these myself. Like I said, I found them at Walmart. Um, anyway, overall, I have to say, closing remarks, I did like this collection a lot. None of the formulas let me down. 
Sinful Colors really knows how to get polish done. They're definitely my favorite drugstore brand and I just think that they do such a great job for such a small price tag. I'm not particularly fond of this collection um, because it is in connection with Kylie Jenner. However, I can understand Simple Colors wanting to collaborate with her because she's on everybody's lips, whether it be for good reason or for bad reason. So I think that's helping them out a lot here too, but also just great formulation on their polishes. I really, really liked it. As I talked about through the whole video, there's only a few in here that are really kind of special that you probably don't already have a lot of in your collection. Um, but you know, we kind of already went over that. I'll just quickly give you which ones were my favorites. My top favorite was Miss Majesty, which is this purple. And then I really, really liked this one coater kind of red pink, kind of a reddish raspberry. This one was called Queen. And then I also really liked Coconuts. That was the white with the gold shimmer. And then Carnival, Slay Gray, and On Fire were also some of my favorites. So um, I hope that you found this helpful. I really wanted to give this collection a good review, even if it took us a little bit of extra time so you would know if there was really something you needed in here that you didn't already have in your collection. Whether it be in Simple Colors online, because as we know, they have a lot of polish, a lot of good polish, um, or it could be within other brands' lines. So I hope that you found this helpful. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It is free. It doesn't cost you a thing. All it does is it tells you when I put out a new video and on my channel, if you are new, we do live application reviews of pretty much any nail polish collection I can get my hands on so that you know what to expect before you purchase when it comes to formula and color and all things like that. So. Hope you're having a great day. Thanks for spending some of it with me. I will see you back for my next review. Until then, take care. Bye. And it was very, very, very small glitters. It was, you know, a mixed glitter of um, a light champagne color with lots of holographic. It was my favorite glitter out of that whole collection. Whoops, sorry. Um, it was my favorite glitter of that whole collection. And basically, this whole collection is all polishes just like that glitter.